Among people with disability, I must say the visually impaired suffers a lot of setback because very often they are excluded, not enough provision is made for their education, you know, and they don't have access to assistive technologies, which is, which is available now. So in my own country, I found that. And therefore, we decided to have special program to support a person with visual impairment in education. We gave them assistive devices, be it laptop with the right software, be it a smartphone, be it a smart cane, and a set of gadgets, plus also training and accompaniment so that they can manage on their own. I may say this has given them new hope and we intend to intensify now the work more with the collaboration that I intend to have with Commonwealth of Learning. You know, in 2011, I retired and there was a strong desire for me to do something different from what I've done. And there came the, the, my inner voice, so to say, telling me, if after you've done so much in life, it's time for you to give back. And I felt that there was that sense of gratitude I have to life, and I have to give back. So I created Global Rainbow Foundation as a channel which will help me to touch the lives of those people who are in the most vulnerable group. And I chose specifically person with disability. And therefore, the mission has been for the past eight years now to concentrate our effort to accompanying persons with disabilities in various ways so that they are empowered, they have their dignity, and they are also independent. We should realize that in the world today, almost 15% of the population suffers from some disability which is huge, you know, almost one billion. So we cannot be insensitive to that situation. And any organization serving uh, the world cannot stay away from this issue of serving persons with disability. They are part of the population, they have the legitimate right, and they also have a lot of potential. And we need to look at them, not at the disability, look at the abilities within them. And here I would like to quote Robert Hansen. He says, I choose not to put this in my ability. You know, so, and this is a big potential. And that's why I felt that Commonwealth of Learning cannot uh, be out of it. Commonwealth of Learning has to take a lead. And it's, it's not doing something new totally. It's using all the resources they developed over so many years to serve education development in so many countries and reorganize them, reformat them so that they're accessible to the person with disability, at least in the Commonwealth countries. I think the good thing now is that we have an international convention. We have the United Nations Convention on the Right to Person with Disabilities, which has been endorsed by the whole world. So this is a framework. So you don't have to start from nowhere, you know. So this is a framework and many organizations and many countries have been working within the framework of this convention and they develop their own strategy in their line of activities and they've done a lot of progress in that area. So it's not difficult now, I would say the framework should be the UNCRPD and then each organization will have to look what are its activities how can those activities, the program that they've developed over the years, how can they be made adaptable, accessible to persons with disability? And Cole has a lot to share in that, in that uh, domain. I think one very important one in the modern world now is web accessibility. And that should be one main, uh, you know, uh, mission. The second one will be to develop all the material that you have to make them in accessible format. You know, a blind person cannot go on your website and benefit. So you have to adapt that. And there are te technologies available to do that now. And the third thing is providing regular support to the student community, to the, the, your beneficiaries. Facilitate them to have the access. 
So I believe these are the three main considerations that would greatly help an organization to offer its services inclusively.